Deborah with Real Military Wives TV. Today I'm just going to show you a really easy updo that I would do for a ball personally, but you could do it for a homecoming or any kind of special event. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this hairstyle. You could do it really high on top of your head, you could do it in the middle of the back of your head, below, or to the side. But for today, since this is just a tutorial, I'm just going to be doing it on the back of my head. Anyway, so I'm just going to kind of jump right into it. Uh, I will be doing a voiceover, and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be not facing you, and so my voice would otherwise be washed out by the fact that I'm not facing the camera, so I'll just go ahead and do a voiceover for the next part. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is just take a piece of hair, and brush through it if you'd like and take two fingers and wrap the hair around it so you're creating a loop and then push it down against your head and secure it with a bobby pin and then you're going to want to switch and secure the other side with a bobby pin as well and if you can, make sure that the bobby pins are crisscrossing, crisscrossing, <laughs> so they have a really good secure loop. And for good measure, I'll show you another loop. When I'm doing this hairstyle, I try to keep two bobby pins in my mouth so that I'm not bending over to grab bobby pins during each loop. It's just easier. Practice makes perfect with this hairstyle. I've done this a million times, so that kind of helps. And I'll speed up the next piece here, just so that I don't bore you to death. Alright, and so this portion of the video is where we're doing the center part of the bun. And this part's a little bit more tricky because it may require more bobby pins just because instead of securing the loop to the back of your head, you're actually securing it to the ponytail itself and the hairband. And so it's a little bit more tricky, but it's not really that big of a deal. Just make sure that you have a couple more bobby pins to secure it in place. actually a fairly easy up to. It takes a little bit of arm strength and I'm not going to lie, I have a little bit of arm strain right now. Clearly it would be an easier hairstyle if someone were to do it for you, but this is actually the type of hairstyle that you actually go to the salon and pay like $35 for someone to do for you. So you actually save quite a bit of money by doing it yourself. It's just a really pretty elegant hairstyle. It can go with just about any dress. and It would look really cute with a sundress for a homecoming, a fancy event, say your husband's getting a promotion and you just want to look really cute. It could work for a lot of different occasions, but this one I used specifically for a ball. And I mean, there's a couple of different ways you could dress up this look. You could pull down some bangs. You could, you know, put in a braid. Another thing I would recommend for this hairstyle as you can see, there are pieces actually sticking out at the ends. If there are ends hanging out, that's okay. You can actually take a straightener and 
just take the ends and curl them under. Leave them kind of sticking out. That's kind of cute too. If you guys have any requests on hairstyles, makeup tutorials, anything beauty, uh, just comment below. I haven't told you guys this before, but I actually have like a general YouTube beauty page. Um, a couple of you guys have actually asked about that. If you have a YouTube channel and you're interested in subscribing to my regular YouTube channel, I will post a link for that down below and you can subscribe. I love networking with military spouses, so just send me a message, let me know you're a military wife, and subscribe to my page. I would love it. We'll see you guys later. Bye.